On this Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day, we celebrate the work of our local civil rights and human rights agency, the Evansville Vanderburg County Human Relations Commission. Diane Clements Boyd is the executive director. She's with us this morning. It's good to see you as always. Thank you. Good morning. Happy MLK Day. And happy MLK Day to you. I really wanted to, you know, you've been on the show many times over the years, but I think this is a great day to inform our viewers about the work you do, your, the ongoing work you do every day in our community. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. And I think today is a great day to remind our community because we are uh, furthering the work that Dr. King worked for in terms of equal opportunity for all people uh, in our community. Uh, and, and our agency is celebrating uh, 75 years uh, of being in existence, uh, coming to be uh, as a result of uh, cities throughout the country, uh, establishing race relations committees. And uh, that's where we got our start. Uh, we worked throughout the years with community organizations, civil rights groups, uh, civic leaders, uh, the faith-based community uh, to fight for rights and ensure that all people had adequate housing, uh, employment opportunities. Uh, and of course, we have advanced our mission throughout the years uh, to make sure that we're working uh, to make sure people with disabilities have access and to address some of the other unfinished business of the civil rights movement, uh, the school to prison pipeline, uh, making sure that uh, people that have um, felony convictions can come back to our community and find, find work. Uh, so we have a lot of work uh, that we're doing. Uh, we, we are primarily looked at as an enforcement agency, but we're not just that. Of course, we have been that throughout uh, the community for many, many years, uh, taking uh, civil rights complaints, uh, but we're also a, a peacekeeper in the community. We're also an educator of civil rights and human rights in the community. So we are just so glad uh, to be celebrating uh, 75 years. Uh, we've been at the Civic Center. Uh, that's where our infrastructure uh, first uh, was implemented in 19... 63. Uh, so we're 60 years of being a city county, a city agency at the Civic Center. So we're just so proud of these milestones, but we know that the work continues and we just encourage everyone to uh, continue to work for civil rights, human rights, uh, and the spirit and the legacy of Dr. King. Well, I think, Diane, anytime we have an opportunity to, to talk about, just as we are today, the work, because so much of it is quiet, unless you're really dialed into uh, the initiatives, et cetera. But, but one of the things that happens every year and that I particularly uh, enjoy and uh, learn from is the uh, Diversity Awards dinner. Yes, yes. That is a great opportunity for us to highlight the work uh, of individuals in our community that are uh, fighting these fights, uh, not wanting recognition, but just doing uh, the work uh, of uh, uh, uplifting folks that need a hand up, that need uh, access uh, to opportunities and to services. And so we are planning uh, a wonderful uh, event. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Uh, we do have a date and we're gonna get that out really soon. We're saving the date. Uh, it's an October date, but until you get it, I won't, uh, <laughs> I won't share it. Uh, but we are planning uh, a wonderful event uh, to of course uh, celebrate this milestone of the Human Relations Commission and to just encourage people to continue uh, to do the work. Diane, thank you so much for taking time to be with us on this day. Thank you so much. We'll be back with more Local Lifestyles right after this. Please stay with us.